for a single addict to rebuild his or her life. That can be miraculous. Tonight, we meet a husband and a wife who've gone from homelessness to hopefulness. And better yet, they're reunited with their six children. Tessa DeTiro has the story you'll see only right here on Local 12. You want to do Oh, no, thank you. The subway in Milford means a lot to Robert Schubert and Christina Northern. Okay. Yeah, the married the couple busy making uh, sandwiches has come full circle here. We are so blessed to be where we are today. In 2017, meth addiction took over. They lost their house and they lived in a van behind the sandwich shop. 1398. Soon after, their children were placed in foster care. Once we lost our kids, it was like our whole world fell apart. Our marriage almost didn't make it through. It was a horrible time. Robert and Christina were reluctant to come here to the Family Recovery Court program because they knew the work they would have to do is hard. But they soon realized that their success here is the way they could save their family. We jumped through every hoop that they asked, you know. We had to go through anger management, we had to do family counseling. For the last two years, the couple worked enough hours at Subway to get an apartment. Clean for 18 months after outpatient rehab, their motivation has always been their six children. And it takes a lot of work and a lot of perseverance. There's some days you don't want to get up and do it, but you have to. There's not one day that you can just quit. Just yesterday, the couple completed the biggest milestone yet. On a Zoom call for family to watch, they graduated from Family Recovery Court. We wanted to at least be in front of Judge Shriver. He's the one that started that program, and we wanted to physically thank him for, you know, for starting that program and being there all the way through. Behind the sandwich shop today, things look a little different than a few years back. Mom and Dad are getting the kids packed up to head home as a family. Every day I look at my kids, it, it makes it all worth a while. In Milford, Tessa Tiro, Local 12 News. And Family Recovery Court was started by Judge Shriver in 2014. It's a voluntary program that usually takes families more than a year to complete.